So after spending nine hours here today, nine and a half hours, uh, they told me that they were gonna open up the guy and look at his you know, stomach to see if he had too much scar tissue. And that was like the final step. And uh, turns out he did not. So I am very happy for the gentleman that got the kidney today. I hope he recovers well. I can't imagine what it feels like, but to be honest, guys, this surgery sounds crazier than I thought. Uh, they're gonna be giving me a neck catheter, IV line, a catheter in my penis. It's, it's, it seems this is a crazy surgery. There are a few things I didn't even know about that I learned today. So part of me is happy that it's not happening today, <laughs> to be honest, because it just sounds crazy. Uh, but at least now I'm more prepared for, for next time when I get the phone call. And the good news is I'm on top of the list. So they said that if you're being called for backup now, that means that you're going to um, be called pretty soon as the first option. So it'll probably happen soon. You know, I'm not disappointed. Actually, I'm pretty numb. I'm not like upset. I'm happy for the guy who got the kidney. And I'm sad for the 20 year old man who lost his life that provided the kidney. Um, but I'm okay, you know, I'm doing well on my treatment, my dialysis. And uh, right now I'm gonna go get a bacon cheeseburger because I haven't eaten in 36 hours. And uh, I need some, I need a heavy meal right now. I need something heavy and delicious. So I'm going bacon cheeseburger. And uh, finally, I wanna thank all you guys for the thoughts and prayers. I had hundreds of you, hundreds across all my platforms, maybe even a thousand people praying for me, sending me prayers and donations and wishes. So. It's a pretty big prayer army, and uh, you know that means a lot to me. It means a lot to me. So I'm doing all right, guys. Mentally, emotionally, I'm fine. I'm gonna go see my dogs now, which I'm always very excited about. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated.